Letter six of Letters from Egypt by Lady Lucy Duff Gordon, read for LibriVox.org into the public domain. To Sir Alexander Duff Gordon, Thebes, December twentieth, eighteen sixty-two. Dear Alec, I have had a long, dawdling voyage up here, but enjoyed it much, and have seen and heard many curious things. I only stop here for letters, and shall go on to Wadi Halfa. As the weather is very cold still, and I shall be better able to enjoy the ruins when I return about a month hence, and shall certainly prefer the tropics now. I can't describe the kindness of the cops. The men I met at a party in Cairo wrote to all their friends and relations to be civil to me. Wassef's attentions consisted first in lending me his superb donkey and accompanying me about all day. Next morning arrived a procession headed by his clerk. A gentlemanly young copt, and consisting of five black memlooks carrying a live sheep, a huge basket of the most delicious bread, a pile of cricket balls of creamy butter, a large copper cauldron of milk, and a cage of poultry, I was confounded and tried to give a good backsheesh to the clerk, but he utterly declined. At Girga, one Mishregi was waiting for me, and was in despair because he had only time to get a few hundred eggs. Two turkeys, a heap of butter, and a can of milk. At Kenna, one Isa, Jesus, also lent a donkey and sent me three boxes of delicious Mecca dates, which Omar thought stingy. Such attentions are agreeable here, where good food is not to be had except as a gift. They all made me promise to see them again on my return and dine at their houses, and Wassef wanted to make a fantasia and have dancing girls. How you would love the Arab women in the country villages! I wandered off the other day alone while the men were mending the rudder and fell in with a troop of them carrying water jars. Such sweet, graceful beings, all smiles and grace. One beautiful woman pointed to the village and made signs of eating and took my hand to lead me. I went with her, admiring them as they walked. Omar came running after and wondered I was not afraid. I laughed and said they were much too pretty and kindly looking to frighten any one, which amused them immensely when he told them so. They all wanted me to go and eat in their houses, and I had a great mind to it. But the wind was fair and the boat waiting, so I bid my beautiful friends farewell. They asked if we wanted anything, milk or eggs, for they would give it with pleasure. It was not their custom to sell things. They said. I offered a bit of money to a little naked child, but his mother would not let him take it. I shall never forget the sweet, engaging creatures at that little village, or the dignified politeness of an old weaver whose loom I walked in to look at, and who also wished to set a piece of bread before me. It is the true poetical pastoral life of the Bible in the villages where the English have not been, and happily they don't land at the little places. Thebes has become an English watering place. There are now nine boats lying here, and the great object is to do the Nile as fast as possible. It is a race up to Wadi Halfa or Aswan. I have gained so much during this month that I hope the remaining three will do real good, as the weather will improve with the new year. They tell me, all the English stay here and make Christmas, as Omar calls it, but I shall go on and do my devotions with the Copts at Esna or Edfu. I found that their seeming disinclination to let one attend their service arose from the idea that we English would not recognize them as Christians. I wrote a curious story of a miracle to my mother. I find that I was wrong about the saint being a Mussulman, and so is Murray. He is no less than Mar Girgas, our own Saint George himself. Why he selected a Mussulman Mason, I suppose he knows best. In a week I shall be in Nubia. Some year we must all make this voyage. You would revel in it. Kiss my darlings for me. End of letter six. Read by Sibella Denton. All LibriVox files are in the public domain. For more information, please visit LibriVox.org.